Hi everyone, and welcome to my next video tutorial, which is going to be focused on modernizing our Django admin UI or user interface. So I just want to show you a few examples here of how this user interface can be modified. So as we can see here, we have a light theme here, and we also have a darker theme here in place. So I'm going to show you how you can set this up and make your Django admin more modern in a sense. Now it's very flexible and it has a lot of interesting ways that it goes about utilizing the Django admin. Now there is a lot more to it in terms of what you can customize and set. So if you were to scroll down here, you can see that there are a lot of things that you can go ahead and modify as you so desire. Now I'm not going to go into full detail with that, but I'm just going to go ahead and just set up the basics for you. And then of course you can go ahead and refer to the docs and implement what you would like to add into place. All right, so let's get started. So we're going to install the Django unfold package slash library. So you want to first of all make sure you have a Django project that you want to work with. So make sure you've got that set and in that particular project's virtual environment, so make sure you're in your virtual environment, you want to say pip install Django unfold. So go ahead and install that library. There we go. Great. Now the next thing that we want to do is we just want to add in the minimum installed um, apps that are required for this application. So we can scroll down okay, all the way to install apps here. So under the installation heading, you want to look for unfold. Now what's really important is that you add this before the django.contrib.admin app. All right, so what you can do is just go ahead and copy this. Then head on over to your settings.py file of your application. So here by your list of installed apps, you want to go ahead and add that in as follows. Then, of course, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and run your server. So I'm just going to say python manage.py run server. Okay, so just run your server and that's just going to confirm that everything is okay. So just refresh and we're good to go. All right, now another thing I want to mention is in my application, I of course have an app here as well called web app. And this web app also has a model called customer. Now this is a model that I'll see that is part of my web app. So we will see of course, um, how this all correlates in the Django admin panel. So let's go ahead and create a super user before we access Django admin. So we can just say, let me just make this of course wider. So Python manage.py create super user. Okay, and leave on the default, skip email, add in a password. And again, and run our server. Okay, perfect. Now we can head on to the Django admin. And there we go. So as you can see here, we have a very clean looking user interface for the Django admin page. It's a lot more coherent and a lot more cleaner. And you can also see you have the opportunity to change the theme here seamlessly. So we're on dark mode, but we can switch it to light mode, dark mode, and the system of course. So we can see here, it's a very clean. So let's keep it on dark mode for now. And what you wanna do is go ahead and enter in your credentials accordingly. All right. So as soon as you've entered in your credentials, you can go ahead and log into the Django admin panel. So here we go. As we can see now, we have a very sleek, modern looking Django admin panel here. We can see everything is containerized according to our app. So our default authentication authorization app with our default group and user model. And as you can see, I have a custom web app uh, here situated, which I just showed in my application here. And of course I have a customer model. So let's actually view this. So if we go to our group model, we can see the design is very similar to the default Django admin theme, although it's been touched up and just modernized as we can see. We also have our user model here set up and ready to go, quite clean as well. And as you can notice here, the Boolean field, of course it's green. And of course it says true or false accordingly set to the parameters here for our users. If we head on back, we can also see um, if we have a custom model per se. And here I have a customer model. 
And if I say add for adding a record here, we can see here we've got our field set up and ready to go. Of course, everything looks very similar here in terms of what we have in the default um, UX. You could say so the user experience for the Django admin theme that we have on the default. We also have this uh, um, similarity in place here. So our homepage we can also see and we can also migrate easily here between our various apps and the models associated with those apps. You can also change the theme as we desire. So if I were to set this to the light theme, we can see, of course, we can also see, we can change what we prefer. So this is a very nice widget that we also have into place that we can just change as we prefer. Another thing, of course, we can also click here on this user icon. And of course, we can see the current um, super user that's logged in. We can go ahead here and click on view site. So that's going to take us to our application, which is on localhost for where we are currently running from. And of course, we can log out out of our application as well. So let's go ahead and do that as a test. So let's say log out. And here we have a nice message saying you've been successfully logged out from the administration. Thank you for spending quality time with the website today. And if you say login again here, it's going to take you back to where we were previously. And of course, we can just go ahead and easily switch between those themes as we so desire. But yes, that is what encompasses this um, specific library called, of course, Django Unfold. So again, it's one of the nicest UIs that I've seen so far, and it's definitely something that I recommend that you check out. Now, that's it for this video tutorial, guys. And as always, thank you for the support and for watching. And of course, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.